so guys this is the new toyota innova high cross flex fuel strong hybrid electric now this is the world's first car with a bs6 engine and uh, to have an electrified motor and at the same time have flex fuel now please keep in mind this is not like an e10 or e20 blending this can support flex fuel up to 100 percent ethanol now 100 percent ethanol does not mean only ethanol no vehicle can run on pure ethanol so what it means instead is that the 100 percent ethanol will be anywhere between 89 to 93 percent of ethanol blending so this can run on that high of a blend as well it's a regular innova high cross not much of a difference the difference you only see here is that to make it obvious powered by ethanol here also at the back you can see the lettering and the badging all of these decals telling that this is different from your regular strong hybrid innova high cross now the biggest benefit that you will get from a vehicle like this which runs on a high blend of ethanol is that ethanol can be made from different things such as uh, you know something like the parali that we burn it can be done through that or using the sugar cane or corn or even bamboo so once you do that what happens is your overall cost production goes down the bill for oil imports also goes down and since the country no longer has to import that much oil because if you're for example putting 80 percent ethanol or 85 percent ethanol that means 85 percent less petroleum required so the bill will come down of course the cost will come down as a result of that fuel will be less expensive and uh, so that is the biggest benefit of course it also burns cleanly so emissions will come down and uh, the only slight flip side to it is that ethanol vehicles are mildly less fuel efficient than similar petrol vehicles but that is more than offset by the lower cost of fuel so when that happens you can easily afford little less mileage or less fuel efficiency because your fuel will be significantly lesser at the end of the day you will make a profit or you will in fact benefit in terms of cost also your vehicle will become more fun to drive because uh, ethanol vehicles naturally develop a little more power so the rough estimates are that about 10 percent more power is what you will get from such vehicles so that means a little more driving fun now if you look at the vehicle inside well uh, there is no change inside it's the standard innova high cross nothing changes so it remains as comfortable as it was no changes even when you look at the uh, dashboard side it has the same dashboard same features same steering layout the same panoramic sunroof everything remains the same the transmission also remains the same the only difference here is that now this innova high cross unlike the other petrol one is not just a strong hybrid that runs on petrol it's a strong hybrid same hybrid architecture but this instead of petrol runs on ethanol fuel which can have a blending or a doping ratio of as high as uh, 93 percent now that is what is referred to as 100 percent ethanol in general terms again let me tell you that 100 percent ethanol does not mean 100 percent purely no vehicle can run on 100 percent in general 100 percent ethanol refers to anywhere between 89 to 93 percent of doping of ethanol in the fuel let us know your views on this new fuel type and uh, how soon would you like to see this in the market as of now it's e20 e20 20 percent doping ratio is what we have and we have a lot of people here but 20 percent is what you get in about 3300 petrol pumps in the country today and uh, across the country it's about 11.5 percent this is the ratio of ethanol in the fuel and going forward the plan is that by april 2025 the government plans to have 20 percent ethanol blended fuel across the country which means 20 percent cost for fuel or import of fuel will come down and mr nitin gadkari believes this will be a great opportunity for farmers to increase their income and become 
uh, urja data compared to an annadata and increase their overall income 